Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we'll be treating percentage error. As you can see on the screen, percentage error indicates how big our errors are when we measure something in an analysis process. It is worthy to note that smaller percent error indicate that we are close to the accepted original value. For example, a 1% error indicates that we got very close to the accepted value. But if you have like 48% error, it indicates that we are quite a long way off from the true value. So the percentage error we are able to get at the end of the day will determine how close or how far we are to the actual value now as you can see on the screen we have a a formula for percentage error this is it percentage error equal a minus e all over e multiplied by 100 you can represent your letter with whatsoever that suits you. But for the benefit of this class, we are representing our A to be actual value and our E to be estimated value. So whenever you see A in our formula, it means actual value. And whenever you see E, it means estimated value. So let's dive straight into solving some of these questions. We have one or two questions here so that we can get a better understanding of what percentage error is. We have two questions here. Question number one. I estimated 260 people for my birthday party, but 325 people came. What is my percentage error? So we dive straight into solving the question. First thing first, we need to come up with our formula. It's very key. So it's a solution. So let's bring down our formula. It's going to go a long way to help us. So we say for question number one, Question number one. So let's get out our parameter. I estimated 260 people for my birthday party. That means that will be my estimated value. But 325 people came. What is my percentage error? So I'm now going to say my estimated value is 260. Let's get straight to business. So I'm going to say my estimated value, my estimated value is what? Is 260. That's 260 people. Very good and my actual value my actual value will be my actual value will be what the actual number of people that came for my birthday party there are how many 325 Excellent. So now applying the formula now. Let's apply the formula. We have a formula here. Awesome. So our percentage error now. Let's impute our value. Our actual value is 325. 
Then our estimated value is 260. Awesome. Then all over our actual value, which is what? 325. Very good. Awesome. We're almost getting there. Very good. So now, if you bring out our calculator and punch, 325 minus 260 is going to give us 65. 65. Very good. Remember, our A down here is our actual value, which is 325. Very good. So we are almost getting there. So our next step now is what? We can do it in two different forms, but let's do it this way. Let's bring out what we have here. So if we say 65 multiplied by 1, it's going to give us what? 6,500. And if you like, you can say 65 divided by 325 fourths. Then your answer, you multiply by 100. You will still get the same result, the same answer. So if you say 65 multiplied by 100 to give you 6,500. Awesome. So with this, you can now see your percentage error because I made an estimation for my birthday party and people more than that came. So let's get our percentage error. So if you do that to calculator and point, 6,500 divided by 325 is going to give you 20. So my percentage error is 20%. 20%. That's my percentage error. Very easy. Very easy. Very easy. So my estimation, there's an error of 20%. Because I estimated 260 people to attend my birthday party. But in the real sense, 325 people came. So my percentage error is 20%. Let's dive straight into solving the second question, question number two. A boy measured the area of a rectangle to be 468 centimeters square. But the actual area of the rectangle has been recorded as 470 centimeters square. Calculate the percentage error of these measurements. The actual area of the rectangle is 470 centimeters square, but the boy measured 468 centimeters square. As you know, having an error in a measurement can be as a result of a whole lot of things. It can be as a result of the instrument or lack of concentration or whatsoever. So let's, of, let's get the percentage error of the measurement of this boy. Solution number two. Okay, let's bring down our formula as well because we are going to need it. Awesome. So, for solution number two, let's just put it here. For solution number two. Now, first thing first. 
we are going to get our estimated value and our actual value. Okay, let's just make use of this. As a template. Okay. Let's make use of this. Templates, awesome. Very good. So this time around, our estimated value is going to be 468 centimeter square. 468. That's our estimated value. 468. That is the measurement the boy made. But in the real sense, the actual measurement of the rectangle we have been told from the question is 470 centimeter square. 470 centimeter square. Now looking at this measurement, we we'll know that even before calculating our percentage error, the boy is very close with his measurement. If the actual measurement is 470 and the boy measure 468, that means the boy is very close. You will see at the end of the day that our percentage error will be very small. Be very small. So having done that, let's bring down our formula. Awesome. So now remember we say our A is our actual value, our E is our estimated value. So let's input our parameter. Our actual value here is what? 470 centimeter squared. That's the actual measurement. But the boy measured an estimated value of 468. So we are just imputing our value here. So down here, because A is down, which is our Value 470 will be down here. Awesome. So from here, let's forge ahead. So let's bring down what we have here. Very good. So if we bring that out, we can see 470 minus 468. That will give us two. That will give us what? Two. Awesome. So with this, is that you say two divided by 470? Any answer, any answer you get, you multiply by 100, or you say 100 multiplied by two. And you divide by 470, you will still get same results. So if you say two multiplied by 100, that will give you what? 200. Two times 100 will give you what? 200. That means we are done with this. Very good. So we are almost done. So now bring out your calculator and say 200 divided by 470 it will give you 0 0.42. 0 0.42. You can see that the percentage error of the boy measurement is minute, very small, very, very small, very easy. You can always pause and rewind this video for better clarification and understanding. Don't forget to drop a comment on this video, like this video, 
and press the subscribe button. You can also press the notification bell so that you can be receiving notification from us whenever we post a new video. Thank you.